hello welcome back so in last video i have explained you the framework structure uh, now let's say uh, let's start pra thinking practically okay so when you work in any organization very first thing what we get uh, you will either get an application just to have a look right so we call it as application under test so you might get application under test to just to explore okay how the application is and all or you may get first some test cases or you may get both at the same time right so so ultimately we need two things application under test on which we are going to perform the automation and the actual test cases what you are going to automate right so this is something which we get at a beginner beginner level okay before we start developing any framework right and then based on what kind of application we have what kind of test cases we have based on this particular part we are going to develop our framework right so based on this we will decide whether we need a data driven framework or whether we need keyword driven framework or we are going to bdd approach or whatever okay whatever you are going to prefer okay so what i'll do is as i said we are going to uh, create two frameworks out of that the very first framework as i said it is going to be a bit basic not completely basic yeah but uh, as compared to the advanced framework it is okay so i'll say when you are creating a basic level framework okay and for this basic level framework let's say i got my application okay and my application is let me show you the application first okay so this is something sample app given by tricentis uh, which is pretty simple one and that's the reason I wanted to show you Okay, so if you go to this particular URL sample app dot com, Okay, and if you click on any of the link, okay, let's say I want to calculate the insurance for motorcycle I'll select motorcycle and then you see uh, this particular application is basically to calculate the vehicle insurance and then send the quotation based on what option you are going to select okay i'll walk you through this particular application but before that let's say i have my application and my application under test is insurance calculator okay uh, i got the application so let's say i uh, take a real time scenario let's say someone asked me that okay i don't have my test cases ready as of now but what you can do is we have application deployed and you can have a look on this application and maybe you can start exploring the application or start writing the the business functions or whatever code you want to write it for okay just to start out something rather than just simply waiting right so let's let's say uh, i don't have the test cases so what i'll do is i will go to the test cases uh, not a test cases i'll go to my application in the application i'll i'll browse through all the fields base all the fields all the tabs all the pages i will i'll look and explore let's say this is my drop down okay now by look i don't understand what kind of drop down it is it is a drop down definitely but i don't know if it is it will work by using simple select class or is it some some fancy drop down which i need to write some custom uh, function basically to handle this particular drop down i don't know right so what i'll do is for many of the function like this i will go i'll inspect and i will check how the code is written okay so here in backend i see okay the drop down is using plain select class that means i should be able to handle it using select class directly which is something standard in selenium right if there are some fancy drop down okay in that case we might need to write some custom functions for example if i show you some example if i go to uh, my demo website okay and if i go to this other web elements let it open i just wanted to show you basically a couple of drop downs different ways how the drop downs can be coded like uh, based on that we will uh, like uh, we will start writing the code basically that okay 
for handling drop down i have this particular draft code and once i get everything ready then i'll pick that particular code and put it into my framework so that that will make my life a bit easier okay uh, okay so this page is taking a lot of time to load i don't know why but let it be okay so for most of the web element which are pretty new or something for which we need customization i will try to inspect and i'll try to check again for this date of manufacture i'll try to check okay can i enter date manually let's say uh okay i can enter the date manually basically over here okay that's great but let's say if this particular field is not allowing me to enter the date manually then i might need to write some business function for this right so definitely i can start writing business function for handling this particular uh what is a calendar pop right so this is something i should start writing okay so now uh, since we are on this application let me quickly walk you through the application so this as i said application is about calculating vehicle insurance i am going to select make what kind of make it is it is vmw what kind of model it is it is uh, let's say scooter uh, what is cylinder capacity it's triple three engine performance i'm just entering some dummy values what's the date of manufacture let's say date of manufacture is i'll put something 6th of may what's the number of seats it's two list price it's four times three annual mileage it's triple three okay I'm, I'm just filling out some dummy values and i'll enter some uh description uh my, my personal detail basically okay what's my let's say date of birth uh, let me put out uh, okay and gender whatever address and all those stuff occupation and hobbies whatever hobbies you want to select and then whatever website picture and click on next then enter the product data from when you want basically the insurance so let's say i want insurance from 15th of august then what's the insurance sum you want seven lakh what's the damage insurance partial coverage optional brochure optional product so this is something their business functionality have we did we need not to worry about that if i click on next you see i'm getting some table and into the table it is asking me to uh, select the option which option you want basically so you see some fields uh, like online claim it is available for only for gold platinum and this a worldwide cover applicable unlimited for ultimate and claim discount and all right so based on your requirement you can select let's say i'm selecting ultimate plan and then i see two option view code and download code basically if you want to download and verify view i'll click on next and here i'll enter some details okay and then i'll click on send so that my email will be sent okay so this is what my sample application is okay now by looking at this sample application what do i understand what kind of framework i would be needing okay uh, okay so you see uh, like uh, there would be a lot many data combinations right so i have lot many makes available i have lot many engine performance i'll be let's say uh, less than thousand greater than thousand greater than two thousand or something like that whatever combinations based on the fuel types if we have some combinations based on the product data what we are entering what insurance sum you want to pick it let's say 35 lakh or whatever merit trading whatever you want i don't know why this is for but yeah there would be some definitely some business functionality for this right so what i see by looking at the sample application okay the flow remains same for most of the test cases flow remains same right first i will enter the vehicle data then i'll enter insurance data then product data and then i will select the price code and then whatever finally i need to send the code or could be optional right but the first three steps are very much common for each and every test case that's what i suppose right because it is just the application is about playing around the different different data sets right so by looking out at <coughs> this particular application what i understand is this application will support something called as data driven framework right because why data driven because the flow is same right for most of the test cases flow is same right so what i'll do is i will put my test data into excel right and from excel i will read the data and uh, whatever right whatever i want to do so so there are again different approaches how we're going to read it and put it into test cases and all that we'll see later on but as of now what we understood is 
flow is same so if the flow is same definitely we should prefer using data driven framework so now i am clear on point number one i am going to use something called as data driven framework this is i am clear okay second point uh, now i have some test cases for this particular application okay i have some dummy test cases for this application and some general test cases as well for verifying error messages let us ignore these general test cases as of now definitely we are going to verify them as well but for now let us focus on end-to-end -end test cases okay so whatever i did in front of you we are navigating to the application then we are entering the vehicle data whatever honda motorcycle cylinder capacity blah 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 everything we are going to enter it should go to the next page and uh, on the next page i am going to again enter my personal details and again it should go to the next page uh, i'll enter product data whatever i'll enter I'll, I'll basically verify what is the insurance calculated based on some backend logic right so there should be some backend logic so i don't know the backend logic what's the backend logic behind that so whatever value we are getting there we'll assume that okay these are my expected values and that's how i have written my test cases okay so i'm assuming for this set of data my expected uh, insurance should be around 238 for silver plan 701 for gold plan and whatever values you see over here right and once we see once we select a silver option i should be able to send out the code and i should be able to send out an email and i can verify email later on if it is required okay so yeah definitely i'll be talking about this email verification part as well in one of the framework either the first one or second one let's see so this is my first test case in first test case i am selecting some combinations like honda motorcycle triple three triple six and all in the second case <coughs> the flow remains same right so objective of the first test case was verify the insurance premium for honda motorcycle second one is for volvo scooter right so the few values are different but my <coughs> excuse me but my flow remains same right flow remains same in the third case i am going to verify it for ford mop right again flow remains same fields are different right so this is the reason why i have selected using data driven framework right so as a part of this particular framework what we are going to do is we are going to automate this particular end-to-end -end test cases and this general test case these are just sample test cases like and this is how we work in real time right so we get the test cases we check them we go through each test case we go through step by step we understand the business uh, like what and all business functions we need or whatever methods we need to create uh, do we have any questions we go back to the business or manual team we ask them the questions and then we whatever we go through again and again till we understand the things right so this this everything happens in real time as well okay so now i'm good i understand basically let's say i understood my application okay how application is going to work and i understood okay there are some test cases for which i need data driven uh, framework basically right so now i am clear what kind of framework i need right so the very first thing i i have in my, my mind data driven framework so along with data driven framework i am going to add something called as page object model or it is also called as page factory i am going to put page factory right and when two things comes together data driven plus page factory we call it as a hybrid framework so that means ultimately we are going to develop the hybrid framework right so let's see now so in my from next session onwards we should be talking about hybrid framework so hybrid framework means data driven part plus page object model okay so that's it for this video stay tuned for next video where we are going to start with actual development of framework okay thank you